Uh, sir, this design part has already been covered, sir. It's as per the manual order 179 for barrages on permeable foundations, where they insert the PCC or the uh, 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 secondary piles and primary piles. One is only to prevent the water from rising and the other is the load bearing. And there is a representative photo, not of this barrage, but that just shows the uh, secant uh, pipes being laid, sir. Now, sir, the, coffer, the causes of failure primarily are uh, coffer dam and sheet piles that were used during construction. They were not removed for five seasons. In fact, today when we went there, we could have actually seen that entire thing. There is a lot of overload material towards the last set of piers and this side piers. Both but ends. they have claimed the bills and they have not cleared the material. We are, yes, sir, we are checking that now. So that's a very serious thing. Because that will get everybody in serious trouble. The MBs are being verified, sir. Okay. Now, that is going to reflect a lot of water from the edges towards a specific set of piers which are going to be doubly impacted. There is going to be a water punch impacting them. A lot of extra water is going to flow into those pillars and piers. And they are going to be seriously inundated with high-speed water. The water. That water should have been actually distributed across the entire <laughs> riverbed upstream, sir. So that problem is there. Second, uh, the recommendations of the 3D model study to trim the upstream, downstream overburdens. That is the debris that's there. The, uh, that was never followed. It was never cleared. Some of it is still lying there, sir. In fact, some of it is uh, bedrock. It's probably uh, some soft rock only. It's not granite, sir, but it should have been cleared off. Uh, the connection between the cutoff walls and the raft may not have been cast according to the approved drawings. So there is some potential damage uh, which would have occurred due to the undermining of the raft itself, sir. Uh, then observations of physical crafts between pier number 16 to 21 of block 7 suggest that there is a sheer failure of the raft due to loss of the supporting material under the raft. So the water has actually flowed under the raft, carried the sand away, sir. So sand has moved off and the free flow water is there. Those I'll show you in the next two, three slides, sir. Now, this is the old coffer dam. This is being dismantled. Part of it is still there. This was all done in January, February of 2024. These are very recent photos. This photo probably is of last week only, sir. So they have cut the whole thing and carried off most of the material. This is towards the block number 8, the last block, sir. The same photos of the uh, uh, sheet piles which are being dismantled now, sir. So you'll see somebody cutting with the gas and all. This video shows all those uh, heads of the uh, sheet piles and the old coffer dam that is still there now, so we saw it today. So a coffer dam contributes to uneven flow of water, sir. So some of the areas get inundated much more. There is high-speed water there. And some areas are left brand new. They don't even get any water in, the, in those gates and uh, blocks, sir. Now, sir, I'll come to the uh, CC blocks. Uh, you can see when the uh, uh, barrage was being constructed on the top left photo, the CC blocks are being laid and the spillways are being constructed. On the right side also we say the same thing. The wiring is being installed, stones, stone blocks are being put and this will be put, uh, covered by the CC blocks. They are basically energy dissipation devices. So when there is high speed water flow, it is very turbulent and it is like a cutting force that can actually cut through the sand and also to protect the bedrock and the sand underneath. These blocks are the coverage or the coating on top. And these blocks keep getting damaged, washed away, they keep getting impacted by high speed water. Uh, like even in a village well, sir, we have seen over many, many years, the stones start getting eroded. So something like that happens here on a daily basis when the gates are open. That much water will flow. So these blocks are put in place basically to protect the front side of the barrage. And once these blocks get damaged, they, every year they are supposed to be replaced. And repair and uh, uh, all that work needs to be done. New blocks are cast and they are inserted, sir. You can see on the bottom right side, there is a crane installing the blocks. 
the blocks have hooks in them. They are normally 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter by 90 centimeters. That's the normal size of the blocks installed. <coughs> now, sir, I'm comparing the three barrages. We see Anaram barrage on top. It's a Google map. Right side from the Google map, we can see the blocks. They are visible, but there is damage to the blocks. It is not continuous. Krinda, we have taken photographs standing there. You can see the condition of the blocks on both sides. These blocks are one of the major reasons, their lack of maintenance, why the sand underneath got dug up. And once the sand gets dug up, we start getting pipes from the backside. There is water pressure. It comes like a fountain from underneath. It digs up the sand and there's a continuous water. And like a fountain, it will uh, rise. I'll show you the fountain also, sir. Uh, I'll move to the next barrage. This is the Sundila barrage, sir. You can see some CC blocks there. In fact, there are circles developing. Some maintenance has been there. But we need to actually maintain this. This is a desperate... This is the reason, one of the reasons of... Uh, Failures of our uh, barrage here, sir. Lack of maintenance. Lack of maintenance, sir. Uh, this is the Medigada barrage from the Google Earth, sir. We don't see any blocks anywhere. Here, in fact, we found 10 meter by 10 meter by 90 centimeter blocks. The blocks are not of the standard size. So I think some uh, special permissions have been given here to cast odd size blocks. So that is recorded, sir. We are verifying that, how it has occurred and we'll be reporting the matter because uh, all the three barrage blocks are not identical. Replacing 1.5 by 1.5 block is probably a different uh, uh, matter than replacing a 10 meter by 10 meter block. Sir. And the 10 meter block will behave in a very different manner physically when it's hit by high speed water. Now in Medigada, sir, we see this. We don't see any blocks whatsoever. We see these displaced 10 meter blocks. The kind of mosaic of blocks we saw in Anaram and Sundila is not visible here, sir. Now, this is the front side of Medi uh, Medigada, sir. So, here we don't see any blocks. We just see some blocks strewn here. Some blocks are seen here, but rest of it is all filled with water. So, when there is a high-speed water flow by lifting off the gate, the water goes straight into the spillway and there is no protection there. It's only sand. So it cuts through the sand like a jet and creates a hollow space. Once that hollow space gets created, then these are not uh, floating barrages. Floating barrage essentially is if we have excavated X amount of weight, then that much weight is put. That is called a floating barrage. These are heavier than floating barrages. So barrage is exerting a downward force on the substrata. The substrata starts filling the space in front of it. So sand starts moving. It's wet sand. And there is pressure on the backside. There's a vacuum in front, so mele mele ga, the whole thing starts moving upwards. So uh, we can see there are no blocks, there's no protection, and uh, huge uh, dips Water. have formed there, and people are catching fish there in that area, sir. Similarly, sir, we see a lot of stripping of the spillway and the flows. The rods on the left photo are visible. On the right side, we see a big heap of... Uh, what is that, uh, Rajiv? Sir, that is all the uh, spillway coating oh. that has got stripped off and separated from the floor, sir. Okay. okay. On uh, number 20 pillar, sir, we saw the floor sunk to the right side. So here it has been lifted and separated from the uh, lower uh, flooring. Okay. Okay. The top coat has got separated. Now, sir, since the barrage commissioning in 1920, the project authorities have not conducted inspections of all this. And they have not conducted maintenance of the CC blocks or the launching aprons. So aprons, spillways, everything has been kind of left to its fate. Uh, the dislodged CC Even block... Even left side, you are getting some cracks, no? Yes, sir, that patch is... Uh, the cracks are... Top, top layer is gone, sir. Okay. So you can see the saria below that, the tor steel is visible, sir. Okay. Now the tor steel is standing out, it has got separated, the layer has gone away. That's got washed off, sir. Now the dislodged CC blocks and the damage to the plinth slabs, parametric joints were observed as early as November 2019. That is the first damage report we have, sir. 
this negligence has left the barrage at risk of piping and potential progressive failure. So piping is when the water starts flowing from under the barrage, sir. 